years ago, Terry Fox captured the attention of the country, and today he is being remembered all around the world. Here in the border city, dozens of people came out to support the fight against cancer. Anne Canoffate has more. The paths were packed with people this afternoon as they walked with a united purpose, keeping Terry's courage alive. Les Corn is inspired to take part because of his family's experience with cancer. There's a lot of people I know that who had cancer, including my father who had lymphatic cancer. And uh, due to some of the research and support that he received 17 years ago, he's still alive and he's now a happy grandfather. Organizers are happy they surpassed last year's goal of $2,000 and couldn't have done it without the community. We're very pleased with the support that we received so far this year. There's been lots of online support as well. Uh, over the next course of the year, we continue. We want to keep the Terry Fox name in the community, so we're going to keep pursuing it. But planning wasn't easy this year as there were some bumps in the road. The Terry Fox run almost did fall apart. Of course, it's all run by volunteers, and unfortunately, some of the volunteers in place didn't want to continue it on. And uh, they were looking for people originally. It didn't take place. So in June, uh, Charmaine and I decided to, to take it back on here. I think it's important to keep Terry's spirit alive, and I think we can all raise money for cancer because it's affecting everyone in our community. And Canada isn't the only country taking part in the run. It is worldwide. It's amazing. There's over 60 countries in the world now that do Terry Fox Run, including one that I just learned about, Cuba, where they have over a million people participating in the Terry Fox Run today, which is just amazing. The event will take place again next year, and organizers are anticipating the Catholic and public schools will be involved. Anna Knotfait, New Cap News. From bikes to boats and everything in between, there was plenty of toys for boys at this year's Man Show. Bart Pedjasic takes us on a tour of some of the highlights of the show and finds out what men are buying this year. Got a show similar to that in Saskatoon and all the best toys out there and everyone seems to be, that's what they want to do. They want something to get them out of the house, have fun. Uh, the economy is doing great here in, in Western Canada. Tyler Evans runs a recreation company out of Saskatoon and is a regular at shows just like this. He says wake boats have been a big seller this year, especially in Saskatchewan. Anybody can learn. You know, you can go and just let go of the rope and ride. You can try 360s, try and catch some air. It's, it's just fun. And it wasn't just about boats and water toys. From sound systems... <laughs> ...to games. There was something for boys, big or small. Men were even able to get a cut and trim on the show floor as girls from Elements Hair and Body were helping them find a new look. Jennifer Jenner says now men care more about their hair than ever before. I think men are actually trying to uh, take care of themselves a little bit more. Um, they're not so afraid of coming into a salon and spa environment. Uh, they're, not, they're used to going to a barber and now they're more into... Uh, taking the time, finding out what products they need, and, and actually learning how to use them. The first time being held in the border city, organizers say the show came from a simple idea. Lloyd is full of guys, and it's full of oil guys, and they all like their toys, and all the shows, I think, in Lloyd are more geared towards the women, and we just thought, for a change, let's bring something for the boys. St. Pierre says the show will be back next year. And that's good news, according to Evans. I think it's going to be great. I mean, we definitely want to be back here next year and, and representing our products and just seeing more people out. Bart Pediasic, New Cap News.